Hello, welcome back people YouTube and welcome back to Gran Turismo 7 and this is going to be a bit of a strange one I've, um, I don't even know if this is really going to work but I had a little dabble, a, a little, like just a little kind of almost, almost a lap, like maybe three quarters of a lap just to see if if it's maybe possible so as you probably know we actually got two of the Genes Genesis X Grand Berwin Be 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 how do you say that Berlinetta it's probably a better way of saying it anyway um so as you can probably see right off the bat yeah we are racing heavy wets now if you get this car under 700 pp you've basically got to chuck everything on it so I've got 70% uh, on the uh, output of the ECU, I've got 70% power restriction, I've got 200 ballast, and I've got it weighted slightly like, back to give me the 50-50 uh, weight balance. And we had to put wets on because I think intermediates would give us, yeah, we put intermediates on, we're, we're up to 715, so we're over PP, so we've we've got to put wets on right now it gives us 697 uh, pp which you know is uh i i i don't i really don't know how this is going to go I, I think it it could be quite good because if it rains we're actually prepped we don't really need to pit as such fuel i don't know how much fuel we're going to have i think we could be okay because we've got a lot of uh We've restricted the ECU and, and the the performance restrictor, so I think fuel we're going to be quite efficient. So as you can see, that I've actually got a quite a nice Martini racing colour scheme on it. Now the reason we've got two of these cars is the first gift car couldn't be um, adjusted like paint and stuff. As soon as you put a paint scheme on it, defaulted back to its orange. So they actually gifted you another car that could be um, changed in um, paint schemes. So that's why we've got to. So how's this race going to go? Um, I think it can be quite interesting actually from a strap point of view. So right off the bat, we're going to keep an eye on the fuel. Um, I think it's quite a nice looking car actually. And I think we're actually going to be quite quick. She's a little bit boaty in the corner, shall we say? She's actually quite quick. She's a she has a quick car, but you know you really got to break kind of air away for some of the corners when you've got full power. So you're right off the bat. We're a couple of corners in, and tire wear's uh, excruciatingly bad. Um, but the plan here is it's a bit like the. Oh, what was the car we had? Was it the Chiron? Very much similar to the Chiron fuel. We've got 5.7 laps of fuel, so we've actually got quite good fuel consumption. The idea with this is that we get ahead quick. Um, and by the end, they're probably, you know, we're probably going to do maybe this lap and another. And then I'd probably say by that, the, the, the tyres are going to go like chewed bubblegum. So, oh, a little bit wide. Um, so the tyres are going to be pretty bad, so we pit. But the idea is if we can come in and pit and still be out in the lead, we're basically, you know, we're, we're golden. That's the, that's the plan. As I say, I've, I have done a little trial, like half lap, three quarter lap, um, just to see what it was like. We really break quite early in this car. She's got good straight line speed. The, the, it's, although it's a, I think that car scheme is absolutely fantastic on it. The the cockpit of this car is actually really nice. There's a lot of visibility. Um, I think it's quite a nice car actually. I really do like it. Braking, as I said, is a little bit bad. 
So I'm really breaking early for these corners. So we're already up on P1. We are now leading the race. So what we want to do now is is get away. We don't need to worry about the, the fuel, I think. Possibly we could top up if need be. Because I think we're going to be pitting every other lap. But the idea is to get away. Basically, we, we get as much distance. Oh, she's big. Oh, okay. Get as much of a lead to the point where we can actually come in and, and pit and get back out in the lead. If you do that, that's it. You're, you're pretty much ahead of the, the curve. I need to check whether I've got this in hard. Because if this is on easy, it's a bit of a false economy here. That's got me thinking now. here for my braking. I, I sometimes go into a, like a group 3, group 4 braking zone which maybe is not for this car. It's going to be uh, enough time so I need to be a little bit cautious on brakes. Yeah, tyres are. Yeah, I just. <laughs> I'm kind of wondering how's this car so bad handling, but I've just remembered I've got wets on, and basically the the rear uh, left is completely gone. But. Oh, yeah, she's. Uh, she's getting spicy in the pedal. So I think the tyres by probably by the time we in fact probably by the end of these two straights are gonna be absolutely toast. It's interesting. But we do have a 30 oh we've got we're outside track limits. Got a bit of life on the front front left and rear right have marginal uh, life left. Um I really don't know where to brake. Probably actually we maybe I'm braking a little bit cautious, but we need to be because But this strat is quite interesting because it, it takes the rain out of the equation. If it rains, we're actually quite happy because the tyres are going to last. You know, if it's a dry race, then we're, we're, we're kind of relying on pitting and catching up. Right. Three tyres are dead. We have a better wife in the front right. Fuel. 4.4. We've actually we're, we're actually pretty good for fuel. We probably really don't need to top up fuel this uh, when we come into the pits. We could. But I want to actually just see.
I mean, we probably could stay out in, in these tyres. Oh, I went deep there again a little bit. Tyres do get really sketchy. It'd be nice if you actually got like a, 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 a proper puncture. I mean, you probably do lose a lot of time, but... I mean, I don't think you lose, like... I, no, you probably do lose a lot, but... But we're going to come in this lap. I see it's starting to get a little bit dull. Which is good. You know, at this point, we're actually wanting it to rain. She's not really handling the corners all that well. It's uh, very slow. We do have a 21 second lead at the moment. And that's going to get us in and maybe not that far behind the lead. Is that starting to rain? Yeah, drops in the, the hood. Um, yep, no set of wets. Right, we're not going to... We're not going to fuel. We're going to see how long we get into the race. I don't think fuel's our, our, our biggest worry. Tyres are obviously our biggest worry. So it is starting to rain. Interesting in a way because, you know, the, the AI may pit if it's starting to rain. Possibly they may pit. I will check after this race, I'll check the uh, skill level. I'm, I might have changed it. I don't know if I've done any kind of. I don't know. I think it's on hard. Yeah, there's a couple in the pits. We're only 8 seconds behind the leader. Speed increase is good. Oh, yeah, they've got track limits. I thought, I thought we actually went outside. Hello! Bye! <laughs> I mean, we've got a fast straight line speed in this car. I could probably break a little bit later actually into, into that corner. I don't know if the rain is coming. Catch it fast. So I'm really interested to see what the if if it's on if it's on the three chili the like the hard set now I'm I'm going to say I'll be happy but it's kind of the the level I race at so I don't think I changed it for anything. Right, still got three point six fuel so I think we're pretty good. We may, I don't even know if we'll need to have a little splash and dash, but it's a possibility. Because we're pitting a lot, you really don't need to worry too much about the fuel. I mean, we could save fuel. Jaji drives really quite nice. Get that corner wrong. 
Has she got windscreen wipers or is it just a one of these special screens where the you don't need wipers and it I must admit there's not a lot of VGT cars have cockpits but this is really nice I mean the field of view is absolutely amazing here comes the rain oh hallelujah That it's, it really is a fantastic view. It's probably one of the best views in a, a cockpit for a, a long time. And your rear view mirror is just in front of you there. And I missed my breaking point because I was too busy looking at the rear view mirror. Uh, uh, uh. 2.5 second penalty? Come on! Mind you, I did, I did yeet the, the chicane. Right, sit rep, we are 15 seconds ahead, it is starting to pee down, which is good. We may actually pit, oh, I see the, uh, okay, what twist, the AI is pitting, probably putting wets on, or intermediates, Inter prob well, I don't know, they might put intermediates, my tyres are getting a bit chewy. We'll probably pick this lap for new wets. I mean, we could now. I mean, as I say, the right rear is pretty much toast. We'll come in and pick because we're going to have a, quite a bit of a significant gap. Probably enough to come in, change tyres, and then back out. Yeah, it's really raining now. Oh yeah, it's going to be. That, that's right into a ballpark. That's like. That's it, heaven. Is it music to, to, to my ears? This is what we want. So as you may or may not know, this is like one of the races that, that I do a lot. And I've, this is my money making race. That people do other, uh, I think there's a couple other tracks that give you X amount of money, like the, the Spa Franca shops is uh, a 60 minute race, which gives like a million, so you probably get like one point odd million. The only problem with it is it's a long race and it, it can go pear shaped. But these tyres are toast. Um, I like this one, I like Le Mans, uh, it's, I, I like the track. And this is kind of became my testing ground, so if I get a new car, I'll I'll give it a spin out here, and then I kind of I get like a baseline time. Oh, oh, break, 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 break. Uh, so this is my kind of testing grounds, and I like to like pick up a car that's maybe like like this. I mean, this is unconventional um, how to win this race. And it, it shows you that you don't really need to follow like, certain cars. You can kind of do like an oddball. Oh, okay, it's really heavy in now. It really is. It's actually a wet race. Um, but you can do oddball scenarios, and it's amazing just how much you know you can actually like, win a race with something that's you know like, race. Oh my goodness! Oh. Break. Yeah, that was Akko playing it. I think the tyres are just bad. You know, the tyres are not optimum. But if you do look, we've got 1 minute 44 of a lead. So I think this car is... Uh, it's quite a fun one to do. It, it, you know, it's a way of winning the race. I'll be interested to see... I'm, I'm really actually itching to see what the, the skill levels are. I don't think we need fuel. I think a hybrid energy is out. 
Oh, sh sugar lumps. Oh man, that was getting really weary. I think it's starting to clear. Good thing with this is we're going to have a lap, at least with it, we're not going to have much tyre dig, kind of. These tyres are dead anyway. You can see there that that back's still alive, it's got a little bit of white because it, it was a, a wet track. Right, wet, do we fuel? Do we fuel? You know what? I'm not. I'm not going to fuel. I want to see how long this tank lasts. Because I think if we probably put it in a different power mode, I think we would probably go out, like like fuel for the the, the whole race. I want to see when this runs out though, because I think potentially we probably could go the the entire race. Well, two minutes twenty-five. Those guys are struggling. Yeah, that's, that's a really nice paint scheme. It is, it, I, I think it's a really nice looking car. It's a pity you can't like, mod it and put like, different items on it, like a, a wing and stuff, it would be quite nice. Okay, so we're out of the... Uh, Take that as a, some kind of boost. We're not really going to get a fastest lap out of it because we're, we're basically out lapping and then Hitting, so we're not really get like a full a full lap as such. Right, track is we might actually have to use the extremities just to keep the tires fresh. Two minutes forty three of a lead so we're about Do you know I don't think I changed the the AI difficulty level. I might have done it I did do a, a an American server account, like a, a change to the Americas. And I got it up to level whatever level you needed to open the sport mode. So I can remember doing a couple of the, the races on, maybe easy. I don't think I've changed it for this. I, I th I'd be quite, I, I think if it was uh, on easy, I'd probably say right, oh, fair enough, that's why I've got a two minute odd lead. But if it's on hard, then, I mean, as I say, this is, this is not a conventional uh, race. You know, we're, we're almost taking a car that's going to win the race purely on like its power. I think this car has like a good straight line uh, speed. How did we get? Must have went over the limits at that earlier part. It's kind of annoying. We almost get the apex. Oh, easy. Right, I'm hitting the outskirts here because I want to try and save these tyres as much as physically possible.
Yeah, I've done a lot of laps in Le Mans. Yeah, it's a track that I probably... It's funny because it doesn't come up much in the online racing events. I mean, it does. I feel I've got a little bit of an advantage because I, I just know the track. But it's not a race you see a, a lot of in daily races, which is quite annoying, actually. Right, we've got 1.3 laps of fuel. Do you know, we probably could have come into the pits there. Um, I'm going to keep it on one. This is purely to see how long we can actually go. Now, it probably looks like we're going to have another lap to go. So, to do a, like a no stop of fuel, you would have to um, fiddle about with the power settings. But, because we've got wet tyres on, we don't need, it's not like we're, we're not coming into the pits. And to take on fuel is, you know, you're going to save a little bit of time, I suppose, if you if you don't fuel, but you might as well. I want to see what we get. I don't want to run out of fuel. But I want to see how far we get. I think we're going to get, probably get this lap, we'll have a lap left to race. Although in saying that, we don't need to go. We don't need to go this this lap. What, what am I thinking? We've got two minutes thirty seven of a lead. Right. Um oh Yeah. I was what I was gonna say is I'm gonna cut back the power and I'm just gonna utilise this as the last lap. Um We're, going, we're just going to burn out the time. We've got two minutes. 40 seconds of a lead, so we've got like absolutely. I mean, we're almost catching up, we're almost lapping. The cars are just down at the bottom of the, the end of the track here. So I'm just going to burn out the time here. Which is kind of boring, but um, it makes sense. We could come in, we could fuel. Um, you know, we could probably save fuel here and just do do the other lap. But you know, we've got time in our hands here. It just means that you do get like a true thirty-minute race, and you're not doing like an extra lap above, over and above the thirty minutes. And I've completely messed up my peak there. Driving really scrappy, actually. Usually, is the case when you come off the power and you're faffing about. Yeah, it's interesting. It's an interesting uh, concept. You know, just putting wets on, getting PP down to 700. There was a car. Oh, I can't remember what one it was. Um, I'm trying to think what one of what was it the Porsche one of the Porsche cars that you could do this with and it was like a, you, you didn't need fuel and I think it was I don't I don't know if it was wet so that we put on it I can't remember some of the guys are in pitting we are coasting but it's, uh, it's really a nice looking car, you know, it's got really nice lines. The thing I really like about it is it's, you know, the wheels are, are, are like a nice proportion, they're, they're quite big, but you've got that really nice kind of, it's kind of low, the, the way they've got the lights wrapping around it from the back to the front is really nice, you know. And it's just a nice looking car. It really, really is. I'm quite. It's just a pity you can't maybe put some things on it. Right, 
think we've got 2 minutes 40 to bomb. To be honest, we've not really been on the power, but we've still got 0.6 fuel left, so I think you would need to just do a, like one of those stops, maybe just like add a little lap of fuel and you'll be fine. But if you've got this much of a lead, then you're not really going to do it. I'm getting too fast here. It's not really a lot of times you can actually do this while racing. Yeah, but it's really nice looking. Ah, uh, this is, uh, <laughs> this is fun. Picks. Uh. It's a really slow motion. Oh, this is quite painful actually. I, I feel it just like put it in fuel six and just going for another lap. is bad in it. Well this video is great. I really should have done just another uh, lap. But oh. uh. walk in peace. The line there, just <laughs> they're, they're, they're bad timing. So that was an easy win. Um, probably what I'd really do, I'd probably even just go over the, the 30 minutes, and just do that other lap, just take a, a splash of fuel at some point in one of my stops, just to give that little bit extra, and then just do it. I mean, after all that, was still plus two, two, two twenty-seven on second place but it does get you the 30 minutes right I, I really need to get a screenshot so um I'm trying to think where I usually get screenshots I usually get them round a bit here but I'm going to maybe go a little bit Look at that, I, I just, oh, I think it's really nice. Do we want to go there or do we want to go here? I want to get like a, a little bit of action. Let's maybe go there, let's see what we can get. Do you know, I always think of my, like, how I want the screen. I think I might go there, actually. Get the cars behind, put my title just down there. Oh, yeah. Let's see what that's like. Yeah, it's a little bit bloody. Let's retake it. Um, so what we need to do is panning. Pr 
probably on there, maybe even focus on the front. Let's reposition. Oh, how do I... That's it. Right. Let's go there. Let's see what that's like. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a shot. That's a screen eight. I can put my titles just at that middle kind of void area. It's perfect. Right, let's save that. Right, let's go. I, I, I really do. I'm so interested to see what the um, what the difficulty is at. Let's exit. Right, the moment of truth. I, c I could have done it in, in previous menus there, but I'm... Do you know what? Before I, I reveal this, what did I... I think it initially felt as if it was on easy. Yay! Okay. So at some point I've changed this. I don't know what I was doing. Now, I may have to run it again at some point on hard. Because that was quite a big, a big win. Um, yeah, I'll probably redo that one because I, f for me, that's it's quite an interesting uh, race, purely basically on the fact that you're running non-conventional tyres um, that are going to wear out, but you're fast enough that you're maybe. I would say we could probably maybe not have as much of a lead, but. By the time you do your first pit stop and then you get that rain coming and then you're sort of in, in the zone, I think you can still win quite easy on hard. That's what I think. But anyway, hopefully you enjoyed that video um, and I'll catch you next time. Take care. Bye.